Hello, my name is Mac Adam. I am a democracy ambassador. I work for the Victorian Electoral Commission. The Victorian state election is in November. To make your vote count, you must complete your ballot papers correctly. At a voting centre, you will get two ballot papers. Small one is for the lower house. Big one is for the upper house. Let's start with the lower house. Use numbers when voting. You number all the boxes in order of your choice. Put number one next to the candidate you most want to be elected. Put number two next to your second choice. Put number three next to your third choice and so on. You must number every box. To vote for the upper house, you have two ways. Way one, above the line. You put number one in the box next to the party or group you most want to win. If you do this, the party or group you choose will decide which candidates will get your vote. Then you are done. Or, way two. If you want to choose the candidates yourself instead of the party or group doing it for you, vote below the line. You must number at least five boxes in order of your choice. Put number one next to the candidate you most want to win. Put number two next to your second choice. Put number three next to your third choice. Put number four next to your fourth choice. Put number five next to your fifth choice. If you want to, you can continue to number more boxes or all of them. When you have filled out both your ballot papers, you need to put them in the ballot boxes for each one. If you need any help on the day, you can bring a family member or friend to help you. You can also ask a VEC staff member. If you have any questions or would like assistance, please contact National Relay Service then ask for 03 8620 or visit our website vec.vic.gov dot au